All right, uh, hello all, my name is Shane Sellers. Um, I'm gonna be the role of a tennis coach today. I'm a varsity head coach um, at a local high school. So this is gonna be uh, kind of a skill, um, a tactical skill that I would teach uh, to my students uh, that are at the varsity level. Um, this is, we're gonna talk about what's called an approach shot. In tennis, that's where a ball is short. So imagine I'm, uh, this is a tennis court, so imagine I'm back at the baseline here, which is at the back of the tennis court. Uh, the closer I get up here is kind of like the net. Okay, so I'm staying back for now. Uh, you're gonna want to know when you're gonna wanna come in based on how short the ball is, whether the ball's hit hard at you or whether it's kind of soft and it's staying up in the air. If it's a ball that's staying up in the air, that's where you can kind of move in and attack and continue coming into the net. The goal of tennis is you wanna be able to be on offense where you can dictate how the point goes. I'm not gonna try and hit a bunch of big shots back at the baseline when my opponent is pushing me back on the defensive where I'm kind of on my back foot or I'm running things down side to side. This is gonna be something where your opponent is off their back foot, they're hitting kind of a defensive shot to you. You recognize that when their strings of their racket are open where they're kind of just bunting the ball back over the net, that's something where you can step in, take a full swing on and come through and take volleys up at the net. Again, remember, this is going to depend too on how good your opponent is. A lot of times, if you're playing a really tough opponent, you're not gonna get many short balls in the first place. It's gonna be something where this is something, you set the point up, you put your opponent on the defensive, you get them on the run, they pop something up to you, that's when you come in. There's often times where your opponent does a really good job of hitting the ball deep to you where you might not even have a choice of whether you can come in or not. And most of the points are gonna be played at the baseline. Again, this is mostly for singles, singles where it's just one-on-one. -on -one. Doubles is where uh, you'll have an opponent. You still might get an approach shot um, if you have a partner with you and they hit something short on your side, then you'll come into the net and now you and your partner will both be up at the net. But again, for this concept, you're gonna be back at the baseline. Um, Again, this is something where you need to be, in order to execute this skill, you need to be able to have a good approach shot, you need to pick a corner. So again, that short ball is coming to you. You need to choose, first off, whether you're gonna hit a forehand or a backhand. If you have enough time, your forehand's always your, your um, stronger of your two shots. Um, so you should wanna be able to hit a forehand on this ball if you're able to run around the ball and get a forehand. And again, you're not funneling the ball right down the middle because you're now open the whole court. Whenever you come in the net, there's all this room to your left, all this room to your right. So you need to be able to pick what corner you want to go to. When you're coming in, again, you're not hitting the ball right down the middle. You're still putting your opponent back on the run into the corner. Okay, um, again, know that a short ball is coming when they open their racket. Uh, you get them on the run or when the ball is low and they kind of have to scoop the ball up. That's when, if you see your opponents kind of squaring up shoulder to shoulder in the ball shoulder height, the ball's probably not gonna land short. You're gonna wanna stay back. Um, and then also, if they're hitting the ball with a lot of top spin, again, where that ball is bouncing up, it hits the ground and it kicks up, you need to be careful because if you get too close to the ball when you're running in, all of a sudden that ball's gonna kick up and you're gonna be hitting way up here. So you wanna make contact with the ball right at your shoulders so you can have a level swing when you follow through and then come into the net. Um, again, when you're doing this shot, the shot is not meant to win the point. Um, if you hit a great enough shot into the corner deep enough, your opponent might not get it back, but that's not the point of this. The point is an approach shot, meaning you're approaching the net. You set up something where once again, they have to bunt the ball back over. You should be able to get a volley here or a backhand volley or even better, they give you an overhead where you can smack the ball down. That's what you're doing with this shot. You're trying to set the point up to win on the offense. Um, again, finally, the, the only error I can see with this, the only thing that you have a problem with is if you don't hit a good enough approach shot, you're giving your opponent all this room because you're on top of the net. They can either hit a lob, they can pop a lob over your head where you can't run it back down, or they can pass you by hitting something to your left or your right. So the most important thing is to hit a good enough approach shot where your opponent can't pass or lob you. Now, it's pretty easy for someone to hit a lob on the defense because again, you just open your racket strings, your strings up to the sky and just bunt it back up. So when you come into the net, if I'm at the baseline here, I'm not maybe gonna get all the way on top of the net where it's easy for them to bunt something back up. 
I might stand a couple steps away from the net so that way I at least have a little bit of room between me and the net where it's harder for them to hit something over my head that's going to still land inside the court. Again, if something pops up like that, you see them hit the, the, the lob, your first step has to be back. You have to turn sideways and get ready for your lob. The worst thing you could do is backpedal. Don't backpedal. If you get in the net and they hit a lob, you either need to turn around and run the ball down or you need to have a drop step here and hit an overhead um, stepping back into the court. But again, just be careful if they lob you um, or, or you're probably getting too close to the net. If they pass you, it's probably because you didn't hit a good enough approach shot. All right, so hopefully that helps uh, on learning how to hit an approach shot and when to do it and what happens if it's not a, if it's a, perf not a perfect one.